Hey everybody, here I am with a video that's been long overdue. I know I've had a request years ago to talk about this subject of the matter. And this regarding the con bug and why you can't name a file con. I'm using a Windows 98 virtual machine for demonstrations. And I'm going to explain why. So let's do, do an example. We're going to name a Word document, we're going to call it con, and you get this little error because in general the con is, well con is a reserve file name using for back in the MS-DOS days to access the computer console and the popular con but the mo Windows 9X was very known for having being plagued with the con bug so if you was to happen to type in run c colon slash hold on a minute con slash con you get the blue screen so let me restart one minute And as you see, it froze the virtual machine, so we're going to go ahead and restart. And you can even, it even happens in Windows 95 and Windows 98 first edition. And there's another file that's also known for causing the blue screen of death. We're going to go ahead and skip scan disk. It's not like we get any errors in this virtual machine regardless. So let's go ahead and take a look at um see what happens if we do it in the NT based operating system. So I'm gonna boot in my Windows two thousand virtual machine to show you a little bit of a, a better example and that Microsoft kind of addressed the con bug issue but you still won't be able to name a file con so let me log into this Windows 2000 virtual machine And while that's loading up, let's say we're going to do the similar thing like we did in the Windows. In the Windows 98 virtual machine, let's see if it'll let me do it. So, so you get the same thing though. But if you try C colon slash con slash con on an NT based operating system, it may not work. Same thing with aux slash aux. And aux is another file that's reserved for Windows. Back 
didn't want to do that. Hold on. Let's close out of there. So yeah, you get the meaning why you can't name a file con because it's a reserved file that's used to access the computer console from the MS-DOS days. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. And stay tuned, we're going to be taking a look at a classic program in Windows 98 called eGames. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.